Some in the rap community are still talking about Tory Lanez, even though Megan Thee Stallion's new big track hiss, and the ensuing battle with Nicki Minaj have been making news for more than a week. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Over a year has passed since a jury found him guilty of three felonies stemming from the shooting incident he had with Megan. Then, in August, he had his sentencing hearing and was given a 10-year prison sentence for the incident. Despite the evidence available being enough to convince a jury, it hasn't been enough to convince many rap fans. Nobody has been louder in their inability to move on from the case than WAC 100. He brought it up over the weekend with a surprising claim. WAC said that there was reportedly a video of the incident that had yet to be released. The problem was, the owner of the motherfucking footage was a minor. Wax says in a recently published video that the film will be made available again in the future. This time he explains why it hasn't been released to the public yet. And the parents didn't want that individual in the media. He cites the fact that it was recorded by a minor, which makes him believe that it cannot be accepted as evidence in court. The AU that you didn't have consent of the parents to release the footage that was taken by a minor. He was promptly corrected by fans in the comments, who cited a plethora of other instances demonstrating how simple it would be for the video to become proof if it existed. Don't get mad, homie, that I be dropping exclusive shit. In the latest video, WAC 100 also used the occasion to criticize certain individuals on the internet. You don't know the shit that I know, and that's a motherfucking fact. He primarily addressed everyone who was accusing him of lying about the existence of the video in the first place. In addition, he has a bias in favor of the artists he represents or has worked with in the past. Wack has consistently supported the theory that Meg is lying in relation to the gunshot incident between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Naturally, back in 2022, Lanez was found guilty of shooting Meg. For others, though, this has just not been sufficient. There exists some who will not accept Tory's guilt till video of the shooting is posted online. When the video come out that the DA tried to suppress, this perfectly captures the spirit of the times we find ourselves in. That my legal is now involved in, there will not be a no more Meg Stallion. In any case, Wack appears to be among the many those who wish to see Megan brought down. In recently released audio, Wack 100 is heard commenting on a purported video of the shooting. When the video comes out, Wack claims that this footage is out there and could jeopardize Meg's career, even though there is no proof of it. From the little Asian girl that followed him from the time they saw him arguing in the car. This video, in Wack's opinion, fully clears Tori. Fans, meanwhile, aren't quite so sure that this is the case. Numerous people noted that if this tape was authentic, it would have been shown in court. On the other hand, some claim it was repressed. Meg dropped her new single on Friday, January 26th, after teasing the acerbic tune earlier this week. It seems to take some jabs at Nicki. The Houston native raps. Megan's law alludes to a federal statute that requires authorities to release information on registered sex offenders to the public, seemingly intended at Nikki Petty's husband. After Petty and Nikki moved to California in 2019 but failed to register as a sex offender there, they were sentenced to three years of probation and one year of house detention in 2022. His 1995 conviction for the first-degree attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl led to a four-year jail sentence, which is the reason he is classified as a sex offender. Nicki Minaj responded on Instagram Live shortly after Megan Thee Stallion released his, playing a clip of a new song that contains some explicit language directed at Tina Snow. <laughs> She raps in reference to the July 2020 shooting that left Megan with foot injuries and resulted in Tori Lanez's imprisonment. Nikki was giggling as she played the clip, which she repeated several times. Wait, I, I play it again, German. She also said during the broadcast, you have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and be comfortable in the music before doing an impression of Megan rapping in a thick southern drawl. Nikki shared a picture of her newly manicured foot on X, a social media platform that once existed, further mocking her rival's shooting wounds. Meg then seemed to reply, sharing a picture of herself giggling on her Instagram stories. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.